it's safe to say that Megyn Kelly isn't a fan of Cowboy Carter. On the Friday, April 5th, installment of the Megyn Kelly Show podcast, the journalist argued that Beyonce's rendition of Dolly Parton's 70s hit Jolene did not seem empowering to women at all. I'm not a big Beyonce follower. I don't have anything against her. I don't listen to her music. But I do get kind of annoyed at how whenever she does anything, we have to pretend she's the second coming, Kelly began in a new segment. It's like, oh my god, they literally call her Queen Bay. It's like she can do absolutely no wrong. The podcast host went on to question the praise the single lady singer has received for taking musical risks and experimenting with the genre. Why did country need to be redefined? What was wrong with it that we needed it to be rescued by Beyonce? She asked. And why is it that Queen Bay is being treated like she's the first one to take a little dalliance over into this? Unknown field of country music? And then we get to Jolene, Kelly said, referring to Parton's country classic. The original Jolene is a story about a woman feeling threatened by another woman who's prettier and more alluring. And she's basically begging her not to steal her man. Then of course because it's Queen Bay, we have to change it to BF, take my man, I will hurt you B, she continued. It's much more like threatening, which I guess Beyonce and Team Bay think is what empowerment looks like. For now, the threatened woman is just threatening to another woman who she thinks might have designs on her life partner. Kelly said she doesn't find this empowering and suggested that the modern day definition of what makes a strong woman is strange to her. You can't have any vulnerabilities or insecurities. You have to be this badass bee who's like threatening. And it's to me, it's a turn off, she noted. The true power move is not to worry and not to have to worry. You're telling a story and this is a version of womanhood where an insecure woman feels like feels threatened by a more beautiful other woman. As OK previously reported, Cowboy Carter was released on Friday, March 29th. The cross-genre album features collaborations with Linda Martell, Willie Nelson, Post Malone and Miley Cyrus and several other amazing musicians and singers and has been praised by many public figures including former First Lady Michelle Obama, Ludacris, and Vice President Kamala Harris. Parton herself acknowledged Bay for the cover shortly after the album hit shelves. The country legend took to Instagram to quip Beyonce is giving that girl some trouble and she deserves it.